If you think that telling a friend on social media is going to do something, then do that. But my grandmother, she was in the civil rights movement. She marched. She sat in when racism was occurring down south and across this country. My ancestors go back to slavery in this country. But I am free, and I'm standing here free to say what I want. God, God came up here earlier and said, a jury of his peers. Who picked that jury? Five white women. Who was in that jury? Was it was it a black man, uh, a white man, uh, a, a Spanish man, uh, a white woman, a Spanish woman, and a black woman? I don't even know how they chose that, but that's how they chose that. That's the justice system. Maybe the justice system is flawed, but this is USA. 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 And you know what? I still got faith in this country. And you know what? I'm going to fight for this country. That's what I'm going to do. But it just depends on how you want to go about it. But I just encourage everybody here to do something. If you write that letter to your congressperson, if that's what you think it's going to take. But everybody here needs to do something. Our Congress doesn't have a vote. Peace. All right. Once again, everybody's been saying for coming out. And, I mean, what we need to remember in this is like, this did not happen to Trayvon Martin if he was a white child. And, that, and if you want to deny that, then you need to sit here and look at what the U.S. really looks like. Right now, there's like 50 cops sitting here watching us because they want to make sure that things like this don't exist. And we need to not act like that's not a real threat in D.C. Right now, walking down the street, getting harassed, it's our black and brown people. And if you can't acknowledge that, then you're, then you're not building an equitable country. You're not building a country by justice and freedom. Because I don't feel free. My friends owe $50,000, $100,000 to the government. That's not free. That's not free. You, go, you can't even get fresh water. That's not free. We are not free. We have a long way to go. And we need to remember that. And to respect his memory. Not just Trayvon, but every, every black and brown child, every person that's targeted in this country. You can't get fresh water in America. Well, yeah, you can't get fresh water in America. But more importantly, back to Trayvon and the criminalization of people of color. We want to have a moment of silence. I agree. Okay, that's good. We want to have a moment of silence for Trayvon Martin. If you just want to bow your head down, if you're not religious, we're not going to do anything like that. But just a, a moment. And if anybody has anything they want to offer, right here, this is where we're going to leave a memorial for him and his memory and his family. For a moment of silence. You too, white man. We're having a moment of silence for Taiwan Martin. <laughs> So whatever you have to say, say it after the moment. Whatever we treat, we treat the other Alright, so we're going to leave this here, and if anybody has anything they want to offer her, some good words. Here.
It was so obvious who was the person who would aggress her and who was not. I can't believe it because that's what a lot of us go through on a daily basis. I'm so tired. So, so tired. I have a little cousin who is in college right now. And I always tell her to stay on the right path because it's not going to be easy for you. It is not. I, I, we have to stop. This is ridiculous. You know, a lot of people say it's not a black and white thing, but that's the problem. We conceal it. And we have to stop concealing it so all of us can be educated. Yes, yes, yes. You know, it's, and, and that's the problem. All the years, you know, that's all it's been. Oh, you know, it's not a black and white thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it's it a is. black, it's a white, it's, it's a Hispanic, it's an Asian, it's a Native American thing. It's all of our thing. And if we keep concealing it, it's never going to be solved. Period. I have no hate against anyone. What I have a hate against is unequality. And that's what we need to have. We need to have more equality and less unequality. You know, we have not evolved at all. We might have iPhones, iPads, you know, whatever. But that's not really evolving. We haven't evolved as a people. And that's what we need to start working on. Instead of caring about the new iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 that's coming out, we need to care about us evolving as a people, us uh, coming together as a one race and not dividing ourselves into a thousand. And that's all I have to say on that, on that part. If anyone want to take this home and spread it to your friends and also uh, spread the word, that's fine. So I want to say good night and I thank you guys for coming out as well. And I hope you guys be here at Meridian Park tomorrow. I'm going out on the wrist by saying this, but I just had to let this be known. I glanced over there, and I looked in the car. I don't know what the conversation is, but I see smiles. You know what I'm saying? Now, to me, this is no laughing matter. You know what I'm saying? And I can't remember who said it earlier, but somebody said, everybody else in the club, you know what I'm saying, chilling, having fun, when something real going on out here. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody stepping up. You know what I mean? Look at this crowd, man. This should be bigger than this. Come on, right. man. Damn Are you right. serious? Damn you know right. what I'm saying? So people ain't taking nothing serious out here. Like uh, my man said earlier, man, young kids die, and it's the black race. Whether you like it or not, that's the truth. It's the black race, and it's time we recognize it. You know what I'm saying? And I understand, like he said, I know the officers got to do their job, but at the same time, have a little remorse. I said that, and I ain't going to say no more than that. All right. There's two things we can take away from this case. And the first is this. We're told in this country that we have democracy, right? Repeatedly told that this, that this is the land of the free, uh, and that this this is a this is a place of democracy. But uh, the child. We're told in this country that we have democracy, but the case of Trayvon Martin makes something abundantly clear. There's democracy in this country for, for a group of people, for the 1%, and the rest of us, the working class, black and brown people, LGBT, LGBTQ people, we don't get democracy. We get capitalism, we get white supremacy, we get, we get, LG, we get homophobia and LGBTQ oppression. There's a 1% that has democracy and there's oppression for the rest. So we've got to change that, and if there's any question about do we have democracy in this country? I think the case of Trayvon Martin answers that question very clearly. 
But I think there's a second thing that we can that we can take away from this as well. And, and I think this is the this is this is the grain of hope in this whole situation. Is that the reason this even went to trial is because the people organized and demanded it. That we see the power of the people. When we organize, we win. Now now we can't get democracy in this in, in, in this court system, but we were able to make it go to court. We were able to get a trial and that and, and there's power in that. And we see another thing too. Within minutes of this verdict coming out, uh, these rallies were being organized all across the country. Tallahassee in Sanford, in, in Milwaukee, there was rallies. Within minutes, it's so powerful, and uh, my, my message is today is when we organize, we win. So we got to keep organizing, we got to keep fighting, and, and keep moving forward. Thank, Thank you. I would just like to say we are, it, this is not about no damn LGBT. It ain't about none of that bullshit about that sound sign. This is about a black kid yes. getting shot down because he was black. Yes. Not no gay shit. None of that. Ain't got nothing to do with that. He was a black kid. My son, my nephew, my People just got shot down because he was walking down the street with a fucking hood on his head. And this guy has gotten out. He is not guilty. He was smirking all through the trial. He already knew the shit. They already knew he was not going to be found guilty. They were just holding us up because they did They're not afraid anymore of us. Right. They're not afraid. I live in Southeast on Good Hope Road. You see a little white girl running down the street at 11 o'clock with her puppy running by herself. In our community. Just taking it over. They're not afraid if they do any damn thing they want to do now. Platoons of police officers marching down the streets in our neighborhoods in the middle of the motherfucking night. And let me say that, marching with motherfucking platoons of police officers marching down the streets in Brightwood, D.C., in Southeast D.C., uh, yeah. in Portland, D.C., right here, in East Point motherfucking covers. And that's some military shit. Yeah. With their motherfucking pants, bro. I was in the Marine Corps. That's some military shit. And these motherfuckers are walking around in our neighborhoods, yo, throwing our young men in the, in the back of these vans, in the back of these vans, right? They're throwing in the back of these vans, and then they take them to jail. You know what they tell them? They say, if you just admit your guilt and you pay us $50, we'll let you go. And you know what they do? They admit their motherfucking guilt and they pay $50 to the system, just so that they can get out and get another drink. This shit is fucked up, y'all. We gotta get off. We gotta get off this mother. I mean, I ain't trying to be on, you know, I'm not trying to knock nobody's vibe or whatever, but we gotta get off this alcohol shit, this cigarette shit, all this shit that they pumping in us to make us motherfucking submissive. Y'all need to eat some fruits, some fruits and vegetables. Y'all need to drink some motherfucking water. Everybody is overweight. We are dying from diabetes. We are dying from sickle cell and we are I mean, we just died from so much shit, getting shot, diabetes, being zombified by the television, this fake weed shit, all these little kids walking around smoking, they look like they are heroin in the middle of the street. I mean, this shit is ridiculous. And the black police officer, first of all, a black police officer, that shit is a motherfucking contradiction. I don't know if y'all know how the police came into play in the United States of America, but it was to chase down niggers, it was to chase down niggers in the South when they ran away. It was to chase down property. That is how the police force came into play. If you are a black cop, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yes. You really should. Yes. If you're a black cop and you're not on the side of black people, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, thank you. And it's yeah. It's on, you don't have to touch anything. So I agree with a lot that you said, but at the same point, you have to realize where they're coming from. They're doing this out of a strategy. They're not coming out of straight emotion. This thing, these things were planned when America was for real when they came here. So at the same time, you have to realize their plan. They're targeting black people, yes, for a reason so everyone can do a race thing. Right now, what we see, what we are seeing is a race 
saying. But at the same time, it's the it's against the like one percent against us. A poor white person is the same as a black person. They don't care. They're not gonna go and rally up every white person. No, the the per, a white person that's not in the the one percent. They're getting treated the same as us. So at the same time, like it is a racial, a racial issue, and that's what they're pointing out. And you have to understand why they're pointing that out because they want black people to get against white people. They want to have a separation. But at the same time, we're all getting treated as just like you know whatever. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah, injustice. Like it's all wrong all across the board for people who are not up there. So yes, it is a race issue, but don't become racist in your fight for this. Because we all, everyone who is here right now, we're all on the same accord. That's all I wanted to say. I just want to say, I agree with you. I agree with you 100%. We have never been racist. We have never been racist. Black people cannot be racist. Black people cannot be racist, first of all. That's the first thing we need to realize. We cannot be racist, first of all. Second of all, George Zimmerman, I agree with you 100%, sister, but George Zimmerman, George Zimmerman is a part of the 99%. I just want to say that. And, and he got all free. So, no, you know what I'm saying, though, it, 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 you know, we need to be unified. Even if, you know, if we become unified, we still have to be aware that the tactics will change. Okay, the same people in the court system and stuff, they're running stuff, they're playing stuff. So yeah, they're going to pull, they, they call him white, but I don't know. When I saw the TV for the first time, when I saw him, he looked Mexican to me. I don't know for anyone else, he didn't look white. They're like, white man, white man, look Mexican. Spanish, Spanish, Jewish, whatever he may be, that is his blood loss, whatever. But at the same time, they're just trying to separate us. Like, the people who are trying to come up and come against this, they're trying to start a division. So it's like, recognize what they're doing because like, we're understanding this stuff as it's just happening yesterday, whatever. But this has been planned. Like, this this type of stuff is in because like, it's together. So don't be, don't put just the racial in between. I understand. I see some people don't agree with me. And some people are, but like, take race away. It's still happening to people. It should not happen, period. I just want to add one more thing to this while we're wrapping everything up tonight. It's a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. Hey, right, can I get everybody to take it for just a second? This is a quote from Martin Luther King Jr. And it's just piggybacking off of everything everybody said tonight. I think it pretty much sums up how we should walk away from this rally tonight. Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. So as you walk away from here tonight, yes, be angry about what happened to Trayvon Martin. But let us not hate one another. Let us go for change. We do our best, right? It's a hard thing to be a good person. All right, all right everybody, tomorrow we meet next six days. All right? Personally, I don't think this should be ended. As long as they here, we should be here. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I do it. I'm just to stay here to the club and carry that out. I mean, but keep it happy. I mean, it is what it is. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. or P.M.? 6 a.m. or 8? 6 p.m.? We're going to be there, right? Yeah. We're going to be there. Okay, okay. Morning, birds. Okay. Okay. I'm here. 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 I'm